we are going to be talking about the cerebral cortex. It consists of an outer gray structure that's wrinkled in order to create more surface area for more than 20 billion neurons, axons linking parts of the brain, and over 108 billion glial cells, which feed and protect neurons and also assist transmission. The four lobes of the cerebral cortex are the frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, and temporal lobe. The frontal lobe is involved in speaking, muscle movement, making plans and judgments, inhibition of impulses, and working memory and processing new memories. Phileas Gage, an American railroad construction foreman, had a metal rod shot through his skull during a work accident, damaging part of his frontal lobes. He was able to function normally after healing, but his personality changed and he became odd, irritable, rude, and unpredictable. This case leaves us with the explanation that damage to the frontal lobes could result in loss of ability to subdue impulses and inflect emotions. Parietal lobes include the sensory cortex. Managing input from multiple senses, performing spatial and mathematical reasoning, and monitoring the sensation of movement are the many functions in the association areas behind the sensory strip that the parietal cord has. The sensory strip deals with information from touch stimuli. The occipital lobe includes visual processing areas. It receives visual information from the opposite visual field. The temporal lobe includes auditory processing areas. Some of the abilities these lobes manage in association areas are recognizing specific faces and managing sensory input related to sound which helps the understanding of unspoken words. Memory, language, attention, consciousness, and meditating and spirituality are whole brain association activities that require communication among association areas across the brain. Association areas are found in all four lobes. The motor cortex is an area at the rear of the frontal lobes that controls voluntary movement, such as waving or high-fiving someone. Body areas that require precise control, such as the mouth and fingers, occupy the greatest amount of cortical space. The sensory cortex is located at the front of the parietal lobes and registers and processes body touch and movement sensations. The more sensitive the body region, the larger the sensory cortex area devoted to it. For example, your lips project to a larger brain area than your toes. And the auditory cortex area in your temporal lobes processes the sounds that you hear. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a lot about the cerebral cortex. Created using Powtoon.